everybody. It's day 105. Here's where I was. And uh, I'm about to march on. It's 4 in the morning. I got up for two reasons. Number one, because it's going to be hot today. It's going to be like 86. And so I'm going to get most of my hiking done early. So that uh, I don't have to like uh, deal with the heat so much. But more importantly, uh, it, I did, <clears throat> last night I didn't realize it, but I, I'm only four or five miles away from uh, Bear Mountain. So if I get over there before maybe 6, 6.30 or something like that, uh, maybe none of those park rangers are going to be there. And I can sneak on by and uh, get up on top of that mountain. So that's what we're trying to do. Uh, yeah, so that's where we're at right now. Going to be night hiking for a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> that's all I got to report really right now. But it's going to be a couple hours before I get some sunlight. So uh, y'all sit, sit tight. And as soon as I get there, uh, I'll show you what I see. And we'll get going. Good morning, Mushroom. And uh, I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right. Bye-bye. Well, I made it down to the road. Bridge is right up here. Let's see what's going to happen. The Hudson River Bridge. This is the lowest point on the whole AT. We're probably like 40 feet above sea level if you're on the bridge. But if you're down at the river, you're actually below sea level. This river was carved out by the last glaciers. And it's actually, I think... Wikipedia said it was a fjord. So the glaciers probably flowed down here and uh, cut this channel deep into the rock. This, uh, this river, I gotta go back around and get over on the other side of this cement thing. This river, is actually a tidal estuary all the way up to about Troy. Meaning that the river, of course, will change directions with uh, the tides till you get all the way up there. It's weird. Kind of a strange river. Of course, this river was discovered by, quote unquote, discovered by Henry Hudson. I think Henry Hudson was a, a Dutchman and he was on an exploration mission. And that dude had the cojones to take that big giant sailing ship right up this river. I bet that sounder, that guy who has that weight trying to figure out how deep the water is, was working overtime coming up this river trying to make sure he didn't beach that thing. Oh boy, I bet that would have been a mess. And think about all those Native Americans standing on the bank of the river Looking at that thing coming up the river. Can you imagine that? That'd be like us seeing an alien ship for the first time, a spaceship. That's what it had to be like for them, I bet. That they were just flabbergasted by whatever that thing was. I'd have liked to have been one of those Native Americans. That would have been pretty cool. Of course, it might have seemed cool at the time, but soon enough... It was uh, kind of a disaster for them. Fair amount of debris in the in the river right now. The views sure aren't long. Definitely can't see the mountain. But that's the way this trip goes, right? We only get a couple of views here and there. So you got to take what you can get. To me, this is a pretty nice view, anyways. This foggy landscape and all that stuff. All right, the moment of truth is quickly arriving. <laughs> Let's see what's going on up here and whether or not I'm going to be able to sneak by the park police and uh, get on up this mountain. Otherwise, I'm going to be relegated to a road walk, which I would not be excited about at all because I think it's like five miles. And uh, yeah, that would be not fun. But it's going to be one or the other. Let's get over to the bridge and see what's going on. Pretty neat stuff. 
Happy birthday, Bridge. 100 years. This bridge is 100 years old. Pretty amazing. I'm on the Blue Blaze. Of course, the zoo's closed for the second year in a row. Can't walk the zoo on my regular hike. So, I'm hoping <laughs> that it's all clear up here. Guess we're gonna find out. <laughs> I'm in the park proper now. It's about 6.30 in the morning, so I'm kind of hoping that nobody is going to be up early working here. Hopefully it's just going to be empty. I don't see anybody so far. All I got to do is get into the woods. If I get into the woods, I think I'm going to be home free. It might be a little more tricky for southbounders coming up in here in the middle of the day because I'm sure there's going to be park employees up in here. The northbounders have it easy because there's nobody kind of watching that other side of the mountain. There's just a sign over there. So by the time they get up on top and over the other side, then, you know, they're already done. Somebody can say, oh, you're not supposed to be here, but... It doesn't really matter because they're already done. They still got to walk out of the park. Check this out. Those buzzards are just sitting there. Contemplating eating some trash today. <laughs> nice one. Check that out. I love those birds. They're so cool. Boom. There he goes. Yeah. We got some geese and ducks here. I'm going to go this way, though. All right. I'm almost there. There's the woods right up in there. Well, yeah, here's some damage already. I made it into the woods. So, I should be okay from here. Let's get on top of Bear Mountain. I'd forgotten all about this. I guess maybe because I was going down last year, but climbing up this mountain is one big gigantic stairway to heaven. This is really a celebrity trail, but it is climbing up stones. More damage here. Whew. Oh my gosh. Steep. All right. Continuing on. This got whacked pretty good. I don't know if this is the place. It can, seems like I saw a picture of that bridge. I don't know if this is the washout area they were talking about or what. But I still have like a mile and a quarter to go up this mountain. So there may be more severe damage up here. These stairs are never ending. This must have been a job. Cutting all these stones, making these stairs. Whew. I feel like I'm climbing up to the top of the Empire State Building right now. Dang. I'll be back. Here you go. There's a nice little section. Once again, just demonstrating the power of water. Because you know all these rocks were not on these stairs for that storm. 
Holy cow. Crazy. This thing must have just been a raging down here. Just a raging. Nice one. It must be bird day. Check out that turkey. Hey turkey, can you drop a feather? I need a feather. It's got a little baby with it. Oh, two babies. Nice. Oh, there's another turkey over there in the in the grass. Check it out. They're wondering why it's so quiet around here. Very cool. This one has three babies. Oh my God, there's babies everywhere. Little turkey chicks everywhere. Let's see. Oh my God, there's two more over here. This one. Very cool. Usually those turkeys, they run off pretty fast. But they don't seem to climb too much. Bear Mountain, everybody. This is a big time tourist attraction. Usually there's a million people up here. <laughs> Not today. Pink hot dog has it all to himself. And the turkeys. Whew, but that is a tough climb coming up there. The other side is much, much nicer climb. Let much less severe. This one is just a, a beast. Whew. Wow. There's the Hudson down there. Kind of still shrouded in fog and mystery. And then this stuff over here is where we're going. I believe we're in the Taconic Range, if you are wondering about that stuff. We were in the Berkshires a minute ago, but I think once we cross into New York, we switch to the Taconic Range. The Taconic Range is a whole different mountain range than the Blue Ridge or the Alleghenies. I think it's a newer mountain range and uh, was built at a different time. Very nice. Still soft mountains though. Very soft. It got glaciated and scraped off the top. Any pointy peaks got scraped up pretty good, I bet. Nice one. There's the tower. And right over there are some soda machines and an outlet for me to charge my phone. So. That's what I'm going to do for about an hour. I'm going to sit up here. And then I'll head on down the road. Thanks for so much for joining me on my little trek up Bear Mountain. Kind of half illegal. I still, I guess I'm still not out of the park yet. So I would hate for them to turn me around and tell me to go back down the way I came. But... My guess is they will uh, not do that. I hope anyways. All right, I'm gonna go get a soda, charge my phone. I'll be back in a little bit. All right. I just had my Coke. I had charged my phones. Well, my phone and my battery. And these fellows are working on that building. They're putting that slate roof on there. And uh, I'm out of here. Time to go downtown, get out of Bear Mountain State Park, and head on down the road. No problems, two Cokes. I wanted to get an ice cream sandwich, but that vending machine was out of order. So no ice cream sandwich. I'm not really sure I'm on the trail here. I need to figure out where I'm at here. I'll be back in a little bit.
Yeah, to a lot of you, this might not be very interesting, but I studied up on this a bit. And this reminds me a lot of all of the uh, major flood features out in eastern Washington, where uh, you have, uh, if you go out, if you really just look at a map of Google, uh, these major floods that occurred uh, back in the Ice Age created these canyons called coulees. They are steep-sided canyons, and they're box canyons. And that's exactly what happened here. This, uh, this major flooding event just came down here. And then they also have these, uh, these features where the water would go around and create these little uh, islands or little um, uh, kind of, they look, they kind of look like airplane wings where at the front, it would be really wide. And then as they go along, they narrow out. I mean, you can see these all up and down uh, the, uh, uh, all, all throughout Washington. It really is just that in miniature. And if you go to Washington or you just look at pictures and stuff like that, um, it, it's an amazing colossal flood experience out there. Um, if you ever get a chance to go look at it, I would definitely do it. It's really, really cool. All right, enough of that. I know you guys aren't like really interested in that stuff, but it interests me. And uh, maybe some of you out there would be uh, um, so uh, interested in something like that that you'd go check it out. And uh, if so, then that'd be cool because uh, it really is cool. All right, whatever. Money shot time. Boom. That's pretty. I don't think that's the Hudson River over there. We're on the. Oh no, that is the Hudson. Yeah, that's. We're just uh. uh it's, it's going down on this side and across the other side of the mountain. So yeah, there you go. Another view of the Hudson River. Beautiful. All right, rock and roll down the mountain we go. Look at how these, how smooth these big giant slabs of granite are. The ice just smoothed them off, polished them up. Pretty cool, huh? Nice one. Here's another one. Very nice, money shot. Wow, wow, we pretty as can be. Oh, very nice. Zoom in a little bit. That's the Palisades Parkway down there. That road is usually very busy. They uh, closed it for some reason. It must be a big washout or something. So I'm not gonna have any trouble crossing that thing today. Nice one. That's where we're going, I believe, right there. Right up into that little mountain right there. Very cool. Here's that big slab of rock with all these little potholes in it. Someone thought that that was from lightning. And maybe they're right, I don't know. Could be just from water drilling, trying to drill down in there. But it's a pockmarked rock, isn't it? Interesting. I wonder what caused that. All right, see, there's nothing over here. None of that, that mess is over here. Yeah, continuing on down. See, this side of the mountain is much easier to climb for your nobo and a much easier downhill for your sobo. Although going downhill on the other side is just going down the stairs. But let me tell you, going up that mountain on the other side, it was tough. <laughs> this is only a 1500 foot mountain too. It's not even that tall, but they get you right up there from the other side. It's a pretty picture.
Nice one. Well, I'm finished with Bear Mountain State Park. It does say AT closed. And then you're supposed to take this road right here all the way to the other side of the mountain. Which, if that's what you want to do, that's that's cool, you know. But us through hikers, we encounter more sketchy stuff every single hour than what was up on that mountain. It was only that those two little spots and it was not a big deal. And look, we got more signs up here. Oh, it's like uh, the same thing. All right, well, now it's time to start climbing again. I think we're going to Harriman State Park. I think that's the next, the next place to go. And I'm going up there. It's not very well marked. Oh no, there it is right there. Somebody had an alternate trail. <laughs> All right, let me get hiking. It's just a wildlife kind of day. Nice one. Oh, there's a real nice look at where we've been money shot right there. There's Bear Mountain's tower. Zoom in on that thing. And those rock slabbies right there that I crawled down a little while ago. And then there's the old Hudson right over there. Can't see the bridge from over here though. Very nice. Awesome sauce. Little money shot action. It's really hazy today. Wonder if we're getting some more of that uh, smoke from Canada. I don't even know if those fires are still going on or not. I live in the woods. I only see what's going on right now. All right, let's keep going. Hello, everybody. Yeah, it's about 3.30 in the afternoon. This has been just a kind of a hiking day. Let's just put it that way. It's real hot and humid. And uh, I got to take a lot of breaks. Well, I mean, I'm not taking a lot of breaks, but... More breaks than I would you normally. And uh, I'm just tired. I got about four miles to go to my home for the night. I think you're gonna like it. Hope there's not gonna be too many people there. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have some company there though. But if I remember correctly, it was a pretty nice spot. So I'm gonna try it and see how it goes. Hopefully it's not filled up with a big giant trampoline. <laughs> yeah, only nine through hikers today, y'all. I don't know where they where they all went. I figured we'd be getting 50 or 60 of them for a while. Maybe that was just the tail end of it all. Who knows? Who knows how this goes? You just gotta keep walking and counting them. Whew. I'm telling you what, my body is just one big rash. <laughs> I am so looking forward to getting into that motel tomorrow and uh, just getting cleaned up. I think I've been out here six days now. So it's, it's a long time. You know, you can get food real easy in Connecticut, New York, and New Jersey. But accommodations can be a little more tricky, especially if you're trying to stay by the trail like I am. Okay. Gotta go. Had to get off because that, because the hiker was coming. But that girl was, she was hiking in her underwear. <laughs> she didn't have no shorts on or nothing. All right. That's number 10. You know she's got to be a through hiker. And crazy if, uh, only crazy through hikers hike in their underwear. Maybe I should hike in mine. But like I was saying, I'm just one big rash. Got a rash on my back, got a rash on my shoulders. Got a rash on the front of my shoulders and the back of my shoulders. And uh, I'm gonna be ready to get in there and get me some shower, rest, and relaxation. 
And like I was saying, <laughs> try and repeat myself. I'm just remembering all the stuff I was talking about before that young lady passed me by. Like I was saying, the uh, food situation is easy, but lodging can be a little bit more tricky, you know, especially motel type lodging. And they're really, there are a couple of hostels, and uh, I think there's even a couple of newer ones, but uh, I haven't tried them out. And so, trying to pr trying to get transportation from the trail. If you're a hitchhiker, you need to do it. If you're not, shuttle divers are a little more difficult to find. Everything's set up so nicely in the south. Boom, 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 boom. You got shuttle drivers, you got hostels, you got hotels, everything close to the trail, and everything's reasonably priced. Up here in the north, it's a whole different story. Well, I'm gonna get back to hiking. And uh, you might not see me again until I get to camp. We'll see. If I see something cool, I'll show it to you for sure. But right now, I'm just using up all my energy to walk and get home for the night. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Check it out. Another deer and her baby. Been walking over these slabbies. Look at the grooves, the striations made by just small rocks grinding against the rock as the ice moved forward. And then when the ice stopped moving, plop, it just drops these boulders everywhere. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Erratic boulders are what they're called. Oh, I'm off trail. Pretty cool. He looked around to see who was watching him. He didn't want to be on YouTube. Hilarious. Come on around here again, you. Here he goes. Woody Woodpecker on a white blaze tree. Finally got one. Uh, I hear them a lot, but they're kind of elusive. Nice. It's that time. It's time to do the lemon squeezer. <laughs> Except this time I have to do it backwards. Last year I had to go up, this time I have to go down. And no, we don't take the easy way around here. So, this was the tricky part. Oh, hey, how you doing? Yep, he's doing the tricky part. Well, that fellow that you saw in the beginning of the video, his name was Pacer. He was going up and I was coming down and we had gave ourselves, he gave each other a helping hand. I grabbed his pack and he grabbed mine and uh, he got up and I got down. So that's the lemon squeezer. Thanks a lot, Pacer. I'll see you later. Well, that's just the first part of the lemon squeezer, actually. We got the real squeezy part up here. Last year, I had to take off my backpack to get through. This year, my backpack's a little smaller, so I'm wondering if I can just make it through without taking it off. The lemon squeezer. End of the day fun. It's right here. All right. 
I'm getting in. Oh yeah. Come on, let's, let's keep this thing going here. Let's keep everything going. I gotta be cameraman. Let's put that up there. Here we go, guys. Go on, there's a lemon squeezer. Come on, I don't want to take off my backpack. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. I gotta get this thing. Here we go. Try not to scrape off the sides of the thing, but I wonder if these this is one of these rocks that split at some point. I bet it did. I bet it split. Got real cold. And split. Uh, I made it. Oh, oh man, that was tight. Nice one. I have to take my sitting pad off. I did it, y'all. Very good. All right, your turn. I came down here to this lake and took a bath. And t let me tell you, it felt really good. Sorry I couldn't film it, but I didn't have my tripod anymore. But let me tell you, it was refreshing. I think I'm going to camp right up there on top of that hill. As soon as I dry out a little bit, just sit in the sun. It's pretty nice down here. Well, y'all, let's wrap this day up. What do you say? This is day 105. I'm going to call this day the day of wildlife. Because I think I got a whole bunch of different things for you to look at. And uh, it was pretty cool. I mean, they just kept popping up right in front of me. Boom, 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 boom. So I got my camera out whenever they did. This is my campsite. Sun's going down right there. That's pretty cool. I'm right here at the lake. And my tent's right there. So, I think this is pretty awesome. So today, uh, I popped around another 23 or 24 miles. Uh, pretty good day, if you ask me. I think that's the fourth day in a row. Maybe even the fifth day in a row of 24 miles or over. I think it's the fourth day. Um, but uh, uh, it was, uh, you know, kind of this typical northern New York kind of roly-poly roller coastery up and down up and down up and down kind of stuff and uh pretty soon there's gonna be a lot more flat <laughs> and it's still gonna be ups and got to go down and up and sometimes but a lot more flat so uh, i'm looking forward to that that's uh not tomorrow but the day after and really all the way to maryland or southern pa anyways it's gonna have a lot of flat spots so um, that'll be nice I only saw a 16 through hikers today. Uh, I don't know what happened. I thought we was on a roll. We had like 67 or something two days ago. And then yesterday there was 15 or 16. Today there's 15 or 16. Maybe the that was the end of the bubble. Maybe that was it, you know. And uh, now we're just seeing the people who started a little bit later. And they're just not out in these bigger numbers. I, I don't know. I'm just going to have to keep counting. And we'll, we'll tabulate and... Uh, analyze the data as we go along <laughs> so uh what else happened today it was just hot and muggy and really that's been the case when it hasn't been raining it's just been hot and muggy i felt really good getting in that lake and taking a shower taking a shower taking a bath i uh put the uh, um uh, got my clothes washed <laughs> and i feel so much better i feel so much refreshed so much more refreshed but tomorrow i'm going into town to get me a real proper shower uh, and that's going to be nice all right so uh i think i'll wrap this day up and uh y'all take care and uh good night mushroom i'll see y'all tomorrow for day 106 all right we'll see you bye bye